American televangelist Frank Amidia warned his viewers that if Trump loses the election, tr folks are going to marry cows and have, quote, perverse sex with them. He stated, quote, this is about morality. This is about same-sex marriage not being approved and blessed in this country. This is not about us changing genders into five or six different meanings now. How far do they want us to go? Wait until animalism becomes acceptable and someone can marry a cow and have perverse sex with them. You think I'm laughing? That's what's going to come. End quote. He also urged his audience to pray to shift the elections on both the state and federal level. So we have a video for this one. Oh, yeah. You already know this is going to be good. <laughs> yeah, guys. Okay, let's switch. This is only two minutes. This is... Wait, I need to... Oh, okay, so I'm going to share the audio. That means if you, if you, Susanna or Rivka speak, there's going to be echo. So wait for the video to finish. Come on. Beloved, keep pushing. You shall see. I believe it with all my heart. I declare it according to the word of God. I believe it by what he's already done and what he's going to do. God has heard the prayer of repentance from this nation and God's people. He told us the other night while we were praying, five plus five, well, that's ten. That's the number of the kingdom. And he said, as I declared out, he said, if we just add five percentage points to every state, to every senator, and to the president, and take away five from the opposition, from those who are not pro-life, who are not lined up with the kingdom of God, that's ten. Ten is the fullness of God. Five plus five. We declared it over Lindsey Graham that they are saying was tiltering, even and even, and the very next day, the very next day, a poll came out and said he had moved up 6% overnight. 6% had happened. Well, I believe it's going to 10. We need to pray it for the president. Beloved, if just 5% of people who believe in Jesus Christ who have not been voting will go out and vote, it's over with. Tell your brethren, tell your sisters, convict people in the Holy Spirit. Tell them this is about life. How can you go before God and say, well, I didn't know what to do, so I did nothing. That, too, is not acceptable for God when we can do something. This is about morality. This is about same-sex marriage not being approved and blessed in this country. This is not about us changing genders into five and six different meanings now. Even sexual preference has all of a sudden been changed in the dictionary to where it's offensive. How far do they want us to go? Wait until animalism becomes acceptable and somebody can marry a cow and have perverse sex with them. You think I'm laughing. That's what's going to come. Those kind of things. And I know I'll be mocked and I know that the Huffington Post and others will pick this up and run with it. But who could believe we'd be where we're at now? That kind of stuff has no end to it. It will come because somebody will say it's their right. All right. Well, firstly, he obviously has some kind of beef with cows. <laughs> <laughs> and what happens between so two mad. adult consenting cows is no one's business. <laughs> you know, it's even the though... dark side of the moo. Dark side of the moo. Even though you said these jokes before the show, it's still so good. Um, oh my gosh. I mean, my main commentary on this is that the fact that he calls it animalism, whereas, like, it's bestiality, dude. Yeah, Get your terminology mean? right. Animalism? It makes me think of animism, first of all. Well, he also said he wants you got to convict people. In the name of God, which I thought was a very interesting <laughs> choice of words. <laughs> Convict people in the yeah. name of God. You know, and I think it's interesting, well, someone's going to say it's their right. Well, that's what a lot of religious people do all the time. It's my right to discriminate. It's my right to have four wives. It's my right not to, you know, allow women to come into this restaurant. It's my right. So... It, it's just very interesting that, you know, that was the term that he used. And the, the thing is, I mean, those things are against the law, mm -hmm. you know. So just 
stop it, dude. He's just trying to scare people with some weird, crazy, you know, utterly <laughs> ridiculous bull SHIT. <laughs> I love I you. Mean, <laughs> just just to just to make it clear for people who don't understand, who are dumb enough to buy this person's argument. Because I know there are at least some people that might be watching to be like, well, what are you, you guys are just making fun of him, but, but what do you have against, you know, do you have any arguments against him? Um, adults, they're consenting adults, okay? And cows cannot give consent to human beings, okay? So just just putting it out there. Um, I'm like, it's zoophilia. Or bestiality. Get your terminology right, my guy. Animalism <laughs> reminds me of Mortal Kombat for some reason. When you turn huh. into an animal and you finish somebody, uh, that was called animal animalism. That's what it, it got. It, had, it was nostalgia. <laughs> um, okay, so this top comment is saying, "Wow, the religious really believe these things. The connection between ignorance and religion can't be more obvious." Uh, Shopham is the second comment. He's saying the amount of Hindus that will get triggered if this happens will be unreal. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Would they, would they get triggered? Would we'll be like, oh, we love Americans. They're really loving their cows over there. Wouldn't that be like? I don't, I don't know. know. I did see it. I'm gonna go to if I want to be worshipped. I'm gonna go to America and move. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> what the hell? Um, okay, okay. Um, let me uh, see. Wait. Kill a W dog. It would be cow scent. <laughs> <laughs> You guys are dad jokes all around. Oh okay. my goodness. <laughs> oh yeah, actually you're right. Hindu Oh, Hindu is certainly has a very good point. Zoophilia is a philia, bestiality is the act, I think. Yeah. So yeah. actually zoophilia shouldn't be criminalized, it should be treated. Yes. Right? It's the action that needs to be criminalized, not the disease. Not mm -hmm. the mental we shouldn't demonize people for their mental disease. You should help sympathize with them and treat them. Animalism is actually behavior that's characteristic of animals, though. Particularly mm -hmm. being physical. And then there's also a second definition of like religious worship of or concerning animals. So he, it's kind of, but it's not what he's actually saying. Yeah. Okay. Oh my goodness. Okay, I, I like how Susanna has control over the comments that gets highlighted. It's good that it's not just me anymore. All right, so thank you for joining us. Subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell thingy. If you haven't, I don't know why, what has, what's holding you back, okay? If you haven't subscribed to our channel, why haven't you subscribed to our channel? Explain that to us, please. Like, bell, <laughs> and also... If you if you're not getting notifications and stuff because YouTube is not telling people that we have shows because YouTube is like oh this person told us that they want to get your shows right they want to get your videos but nah you we think is no and oh look oh they also hit the bell button but nah you guys are too controversial we want to show them mainstream stuff we want to show them CNN or cat videos or whatever. But even there are people are like, no, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, nah, we don't think you want this. They're like, no, please show it to us. We say to you, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we think we know what's better for you than you yourself. So to solve that, link, there's a link in the description, uh, which is to our newsletter. So hopefully some of our, we could email it to you. So hopefully you get some of our content that way. Okay. So yeah. Subscribe to our newsletter as well and share share our videos because you know, we do get demonetized That's an obvious on every one of our videos. So F that but we don't care about that anymore <laughs> But we also get deprioritized and that's even more damaging to us Deprioritize what does that mean? That means we're not we don't show up on the suggested You know videos on the right and all that, you know on the on people's home pages and that's how channels grow Unfortunately, we can't grow, so we need you guys to share our videos.